Good morning, students. This is Agnes from Sastra Vidyabha. Today we are discussing about the integers chapter uh, class seven. That is, in the previous class we have already discussed about the uh, representation of integers on the number line. Now we are discussing the the properties of integers. Okay, there are uh, total number of properties are there. In the integer, that is first one closer property, closer property. Second one commutative property, commutative property. Third one associative property. Associative property. Fourth one. Additive identity. Additive identity property. Multiplicative identity. Last one, distributive property. Okay, these are the properties in the integers that is in the sum of them. That is, closer property, commutative property, associative property, additive identity, multiplicative identity, and distributive property. Each one we have to discuss the the operations on the uh, the properties of the integer. That is, first closer property. We have to briefly learn about the addition, multiplication, uh, subtraction, and division. Briefly, we have to learn about each property. Okay. Now, the first property about the closer property. In closer property. Uh, the enclosure property under addition we have to learn about that. That means take in this for any two integers for any two integers that is a comma b. For any two integers a comma b, that is in the closure property under addition, that is a plus b, where where a comma b are integers. A comma b are integers. In this, the sum of integers that is a plus b, where a comma b are integers. Now we are taking the example about closure property under addition. That is a equal to three or b equal to some two value. Like that, we have to say that a in place of a three plus two that is equal to five. Where five is an integer, yeah. Number five is a integer. Like the the uh, the closure property satisfies under the addition of integers. The closure property when we are taking the the sum of two integers that is a plus b a equal to three b equal to two. Now it is an integer and it is an integer. Three plus two. We are adding the sum of the two integers. Then we got the five is an integer. That like uh, that uh, satisfaction of closure property under addition is true. Okay. It is satisfied.
it is satisfied closure property under addition under addition okay now we have to see the another example okay now take another example say like that we are taking the values of a and b that means a comma b are integers that's why take some a equal to minus 3 and b is equal to minus 1 both are integer now we are adding the both numbers a plus b in the satisfaction of closure property that is having the a having minus 3 and plus of b having minus 1 that's why minus 3 here the multiplication in between the minus and plus like the plus into minus minus and 1 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 that is equal to minus 4 uh, minus 4 is an integer minus 4 is an integer like the it is also it satisfies it satisfies the closure property under addition it satisfies the closure property closure property under addition the next one is closure property under subtraction now we are learning about the closure property under subtraction for any two integers a comma b in this closure property of b in the subtraction that is a minus b a minus b where where a comma b are a comma b are integers a comma b are integers now we are taking the for example the values of a comma b that is the where a is equal to some minus 2 and b is equal to some 3 okay now we are subtracting the both the uh, num uh, numbers that means a minus b that is equal to minus 2 minus of plus 3 that is equal to minus 2 plus into minus in bracket plus into minus that is equal to minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 that is equal to minus 5 minus 5 is an integer minus 5 is an integer minus 5 is an integer like that the closure property under addition under subtraction is satisfies in this condition we are taking the any values we are taking any integer values then it is satisfy the closure property under subtraction that's why it is it satisfies it satisfies the closure property closure property under subtraction under subtraction okay this is the closure property under subtraction next one okay next one is in this closure property under multiplication next one is under multiplication in the for any two integers a comma b then then the equation is a into b then the equation is between the two integers it is a multiplication under multiplication then where a comma b are integers a comma b are integers now we have to check the satisfy the it will be satisfied the condition or not we have to check now that means take for example take some value about a is equal to Minus two and b is equal to nine. 
okay a is equal to minus 2 and b is equal to 9 let me have to check the condition of a into b a into b in the closed property under multiplication is z is equal to a value what is the a value here minus 2 into and b value is 9 that means now we have to multiply the numbers 2 into 9 that means 18 okay now multiply the uh, signs operation that means minus 2 plus that means minus that is equal to what is the answer here a into b is equal to minus 18 that means it is a minus 18 is an integer we know that minus 18 is the integer like the it satisfies the condition It satisfies the closer property, closer property under multiplication, under multiplication. Okay, we have to take any example, we have to take any example, it satisfies the any condition at the condition of closer property under multiplication it satisfies the closure property under multiplication next one okay the next one is closure property under addition, division sorry the closure property under division that means take any for any two integers a comma b we are writing now a divided by b that means it is the division between the integers that means where where a comma b are integers any integers any integers now we are taking the some example about this about this division that means say some a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 8 ok some a is equal to 4 value and b is equal to 8 value that means now a divided by b that is equal to a value 4 divided by 8 that means 4 divided by 8 how many times cancellation 4 2 times 4 1 times and 4 2 is 8 2 times that means that is equal to what is the answer 1 by 2 1 by 2 is an integer no it is not a integer it is not a integer. Okay. 1 by 2 is not a integer. That's why in the closure property under division, it does not satisfy the condition under the division. Okay. It does not satisfy satisfy the Closer property, closer property under division. Like uh, we see the example, another example that means it does not satisfy. In some condition, it is satisfied. But in the total cases, about the the closer property under division does not satisfy the the closure property under the division like that ok now take another example for this property under division that is for take some values about the a and b take a is equal to sum 2 or b is equal to 0 ok both, uh, both the a equal to 2 and b equal to 0 are integers we know that these are integers now we are dividing the a by b that means 2 by 0 2 by 0 it is satisfied satisfied the condition no 2 by 0 the, uh, there is 0 doesn't the, uh, does not count the point does not count the point that means 0 does not divide the any value that's why it is uncountable uncountable value or meaningless meaningless that's why 
it is not a integer that's why in the for any two integers a comma b in the closure property under division does not satisfy the condition of closure property under division okay okay these are the closure property under addition subtraction multiplication and division okay in the next class we have to learn about the uh, countable property under addition subtraction uh, multiplication and division okay thank you have a nice day